Thank you, Steve. I was 15 years old. It was 1959. And our English teacher assigned us to do a paper based on research at the Library of Congress. And I was walking down the halls where they had these little Bakelite name tags sticking out from the wall. You remember those? And it said, Archive of Folk Music. So I waited and I asked the logical question, which is, do you have any Joan Baez? <laughs> they explained, no. They said, that's not what we do. I said, what do you do? They said, well, we collect field recordings. And I said, what's a field recording? And they said, why don't you just listen? And the, they gave me L2, which stands for Library of Congress 2. It's a southern sampler. And they had listening booths made of rough plywood, and they had a record changer, and they had little Bakelite headphones with a hole in the middle that you see only in submarine movies from World War II, and when the, when the radio operators say, Captain, we're going down, he says, Mayday, send a Mayday. L2 has, starts with an old geezer tuning a fiddle. It's got McKinley Morganfield before he went north and became Muddy Waters. It's got Sin Killer Griffin preaching to the congregation at Angola State Penitentiary and then leading them in singing, Wasn't That a Mighty Storm? And as Steve said, my friend Steve Wittick said, it's got Texas Gladden from Salem, Virginia in 1941 singing The House Carpenter. The House Carpenter is from a a whole genre of folk songs about the revenant, the one who returns from the dead to claim their lover. Well met, well met you, old true love. Well met, well met, cried he. I've just returned from the sea salt sea, from the land where the grass grows green. And I could have married a king's daughter there, and she would have married me. But I forsook the golden crown, and it's all for the sake of thee. If you'll forsake your house carpenter and come and go with me, I'll take you where the grass grows green in the land by the banks of the sea. She went and she picked up her tiny babe and kissed him one, two, three, saying, Stay at home with your papa, dear. And keep him good company. She went and she dressed in her very best, as everyone could see. She glittered and she glistened, and proudly she walked the streets by the banks of the sea. They had not been sailing but about three weeks. I'm sure it was not for when that fine lady began for to weep and her weeping never ceased anymore. Are you mourning for your house carpenter? Are you mourning for your store? No, I'm mourning for my own wee babe 
that I never will see anymore. They had not been sailing but about three weeks. At the most, it was but four when the ship sprang a leak from the bottom of the sea. And she sank to rise no more.